hey 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 how are you welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is anna akajo i know i know guys i know i've been a little bit mia but i've had this footage in my phone for quite a while i wanted to do a video on how i prep for my meals so i had the footage i prepared the footage but then the edit i took really long to edit and prepare it for you but i'm here better late than ever right 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 yes so this is me preparing because i'm back home in uganda so i feel like it's i i feel like it's cheaper and more affordable to buy in bulk and prepare in advance this particular batch of food took me about 10 days so i was actually quite impressed by it yes so this is it this is what i this is how i prep to eat in a week this is the the the, the meat part what i would i usually pair it with maybe an avocado or an egg but i did not i did not film that i feel like i've filmed it before but this was me batch cooking and i thought i would bring you all along in my whole batch cooking thing that i do in this way that i eat for those of you who don't know i eat a meat-based diet not really strictly meat but i try to base everything on meat meat is my foundation i will add um, simple carbohydrates sometimes like cassava sweet potatoes pumpkin squashes anything that i get my hands on um irish potatoes yeah those are basically what i rotate around sometimes i do sometimes i also just keep it avocado and meat then i add sometimes i add that yeah it depends on how i feel it depends on um, the the season i mean if you know you know yes so this is it this is how i prepare for eating healthy basically it just it just helps me because sometimes you you just don't have time in this adulting thing we are doing you just don't have time and you can find yourself reaching out for that easy chapati easy bread but if you have if you meal prep then you give yourself a chance to be able to eat healthy and it won't take so much time so this is it enjoy this video if you're new to my channel welcome if you're not new welcome back um this video we're going to be doing uh just how i eat in a week how i prep for eating in a week i hope you like it i hope you get inspired by it and happy watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have anything to add please add and i will be waiting to hear from you and comments um if you have anyone who needs to watch this don't be afraid to share like and so that this video can be pushed to other people who also need this information thank you very much god bless you stick to the very end of the video for a breakdown on how much it cost me because remember i told you i was really impressed by the cost and how much money i saved it's, and it's much better than buying this buying meat every day and preparing every day so stick to the end i have a slight a small breakdown for you to see how much i spent and how much you can spend if you eat this way so it's not that expensive all right so here we were prepping the waffles for roasting we just get the different different ones and kind of tie them together just to make them like bite sizes and I also think it's fun it's just fun to bite to bite on those will those small small fat bombs yeah so this is someone someone was helping me do this you can tell that those are not my hands but someone was helping me a kind kind bystander who had the skill <laughs> anyway so you can see how it's done i just wanted to show you guys how we do it so after that i just 
got them because they were already washed i just got them and put them straight into the oven and the oven just did its thing if you don't have an oven you can do it on directly on a charcoal stove you just need to get that wire for that wire mesh that helps you roast any kind of meat so i actually prefer the one which which has the charcoal flavor than to the one done in the oven but it's still the same it's just the difference of the flavor so this took about 20 minutes 20 ish minutes in the oven so you see, you can see that these these are browned i didn't want them to be so brown i didn't want them to be too brown so i what i kept getting them out and but for you you just be better than me and don't over get them i'll just give them 20 minutes 20 minutes should be enough so i also had this cup this beef and they managed to get me the rib and I was so excited. So I just cooked that alone. You could see it, so it was on its own tray. Then I cut this other separate one, salted and put it on the stove. Yeah, this is how I like to, to start my beef, even goat some. I don't even know if this is goat or beef. They all look the same. But anyway, you get the gist of the matter. <laughs> so I, I salted and steamed for a while. As that one steamed, I checked on my matumbo in the oven and they were looking beautiful. Yeah, I was just waiting for a brown, brownish brown thingy consistency. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. As you can see now, they're really nice and crispy. So I just added salt in the final, final thing. I added salt and got them out a few minutes later. Oh, you guys, I can't tell you how yummy it is. Well, words can't express. So next in the oven was a steamed meat that I was steaming on the stove. I put it in the oven and voila, it was ready in a few. <laughs> and... Uh, I, I, maybe I'll do a more detailed video, but I didn't have time for details in this one. This was the one that I had put in the oven, which I started with steaming. So if you notice back there, I had two things in the oven. I had uh, some beef cuts, the cut beef, and there's this one, which, was, which I cooked whole, sort of like a steak thing going on. So that took more time. I left it in the oven, but um, eventually it got ready. But I wanted it to be medium rare. I know I used to be this people who don't like medium rare, but of late, medium rare is really enticing for me. I love meat which is medium rare. So if I'm to cook a whole steak or any meat whole, I do medium rare. So that is the ready matumbo guys this took me a long time this is like the most affordable fat you can do then this is chicken so i cut and marinated my chicken bits the previous day and that is some rosemary herb that i used to marinate marinate the chicken i usually use rosemary for chicken and fish hey guys so as promised i am back here with a breakdown of what I spent on this particular batch of cooking. So I'm going to be looking now because I'm looking at my phone. I'm just looking at a list that I made. And if you hear any random sounds in the background, it is my niece playing. Who just doesn't want to leave me alone today. Anyway, so I bought a quarter a kilo of goat meat. I bought two kilograms of beef, two kilograms of chicken, and uh, four kilograms of goat intestines now the goat meat a kilo of goat meat is sold at around 
a kilo of goat meat is sold at 18,000 at, Cal at from Calera Market. Uh, I'm not sure about the prices today, but this was about a month ago. So it's at 18,000 from Calera Market, and the beef is 12,000, chicken is 14 per kilo. So for goat meat, I got a quarter a kilo. That is, if you do the math, a quarter of a kilo of goat meat costs about four five. And beef, two kilos. This is 12, two times 12, is about 24,000. Chicken is about 28. And goat matumbo is 5,000 a kilo, which is about 10,000 shillings. So that's two times five. Huh? I mean, I said four, I have four kilos, four times five, which is 20. Yeah, so if I add all that up, I come up with, I will be attaching the sum here. I come up with this, and this is what I spend. Bear in mind that this is food for about two weeks. I say 10 days, yeah, it's 10 days and like a half because I ended up, I ended up eating supper. So it covered my lunch. Yeah, and other things that I buy, I usually buy that I did not necessarily indicate here. I usually buy eggs. So I buy about a tray of eggs and it covers me for a while because I eat about three eggs a day. So that's about 10 days. See, it's, it's almost, almost exact. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have been inspired that however much this way of eating might seem a bit um, it might seem a bit expensive in the long run it really it really isn't because I don't buy bread I don't buy sugar I really don't eat any of those other things so I just spend money on this and my advice to you would be um, just look for fat fat which is affordable and for, for my fat of choice was uh, my tumbo was intestines either for a goat or a cow it depends on how i'm feeling that time so that is it that is it guys thank you so much for watching to the end if you like this video or if you like this kind of content don't be don't hesitate to share it with people who are thinking about this way of eating or even have questions about it I hope this answers some of your questions on the affordability. My advice to you on the affordability would be to just not base on affordability in the moment. Look at it in the long run. If you are like me, you won't be going through what you used to go through. Like there's some things that I don't go through anymore because I changed how I eat. So I feel like for me, it's a, it's, it's a balanced freedom. So it also depends on you. It depends on your life. It depends on what you want to change. And there you have to determine the opportunity cost. My economics people out there, economic yeah, opportunity cost is the second best option for gold. Yes, so yeah. Economics is like gold. Yes, so in this case I determined that the second best option of second best option. For me, for a gun, would be maybe spending less right now. If I spend more in the future, I will not be sick. I will be waking up in more comfort. I will be just generally healthier and health as well, like they say. So that's it, guys. That is it. See you in the next videos. I'm so sorry I went AWOL for some time, but it was needed. But I'm back. I'm back, but right now I'm in Sereti and I'll be going back to Kampana soon. I just come to visit my dad.